Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Elsonati Loli Taylor. Tala Falava, my Lord, so if you are my Mr. Speaker. Thank you for the opportunity to speak and acknowledging the Samoan Language Week, and I hope that member David Bennett is learning some Samoan this week. National budget reform should be given the theme of money shuffling. That's what this is all about. That's what this budget is all about. It's called money shuffling. The government's budget is simply money shuffling. <clears throat> Last Thursday, we heard how they were taxing the young boys and young girls' uh, paper collect, uh, delivery. Um, and then on Friday, we heard how they were collecting from the senior citizens uh, with their residential care. Sometimes I wondered if that's what you call a uh, senior moment. Governments having senior moments. As New Zealand First spokesperson on social policy and welfare, what better way, what better area to begin with but to look at what National has done to enable Minister Paula Bennett's welfare reform. One of the steps National has done is cut $155 million from youth services. These services were established and aimed at getting youth and the unemployed into work. Instead, what has the government done? They've gone and cut from there and channeled it into the new package the welfare reform. Part of this new reform includes $55 million over four years, fundamentally for work and income staff to assist people into jobs. Fancy that. I have trouble understanding how this will be implemented when these reforms will not necessarily create new jobs. Does the government or does the national government propose that we get jobs from the air? How will this and how will they assist people into finding jobs when many of these unemployed people need training? It is no myth that finding a job in New Zealand is hard. But New Zealanders have a right to know what these reforms will do when we are investing $55 million into it. Simply saying work and income staff and establishing a board to oversee the changes is simply not enough. New Zealand First has been asking the same question, this question for quite some time, where are the jobs? Where are the jobs? National proposes to create 3,000 school leavers placements, but how long will this last? How long? What we have is a cycle of training up or giving short-term placements to youth in order to ship off to, or to ship them off to Australia. We are simply supporting a mass exodus. No doubt that our increasing export for New Zealand is qualified students who simply cannot find work here in New Zealand. Bill English estimates that unemployment will decrease by 2015 due to an injection of funding into Christchurch and other sectors to create jobs. Yes. There was nothing wrong with injecting funding, but there is something very wrong in relying too much on the hope that Christchurch will be able to boom back from heavy destruction and resolve our unemployment rates. Maybe, maybe that Bill English is suggesting that school leavers will become fund managers for Kiwi Savers or the auditors for Inland Revenue Department. I believe that's what he's looking for. Or does he expect Order. them to become the new shareholders of the SOE Order. Shares National Will Sell? The member's time has expired. Oh, Phil Twyford.